Less than 10 days until the Xbox One people get their hands on Zombie Chronicles. Now, I've had this since last, but the 16th of last month, to be exact. And I'm going to tell you guys a review, or, or give you guys a review, rather. So, let's talk about it. Should you buy it? Is this something that you need for Black Ops 3? Is Black Ops 3 a game that's still relevant? Can you still play it? Can you still find lobbies? Let's talk about it. So, over the past month, I would say, well, almost a month, I've been playing a lot of Black Ops 3. I've been playing a lot of Black Ops 3 multiplayer and, of course, a lot of Black Ops 3 zombies. I absolutely love the new map pack. They did it correctly, you know. They've and also, I don't know if you know this, but it's it's kind of been confirmed that the uh, the M nineteen eleven the Colt it, it's coming back, right? It's coming back, guys. I hope they do it right. I hope the sounds are right. I hope it looks right. I can't wait to see what they do. You know, more updates could come to this map pack. We don't know. We have no idea. But for right now, let's talk about what we do know. The maps look amazing. I, I'm sure if you have an Xbox One and you're interested in this map pack, you've watched a lot of gameplay on all of these. I'm, I'm throwing up air quotes right now. New maps. You know, if you didn't have Black Ops 1, if you didn't have World at War, if you didn't have Black Ops 2, this is this is a new map pack for you. All of these maps are new. But if you have these games, they're remastered beautifully. I mean... The maps look like they belong on Black Ops 3. They did a really good job. And and number one, the, the biggest thing, the biggest reason why I love Zombie Chronicles is because the maps on Black Ops 3, the maps that came with it, the, the DLC 1 through 4, they were good, but they were a little bit too complex. You know, you had to do a strategy. You had to do this. You had to do that just to be able to play. You know, I don't, I don't necessarily like that. I like just going in getting my guns from the box and just playing you know that's what zombies is to me that's that's when i have fun with zombies and and whenever you start spicing it up a little bit i'm gonna use the word spice it makes the gameplay a little less desirable to come back to you know i like i like all the maps in black ops 3 you know zetsuba noshima um, would probably be one of my most favorite maps if it didn't take over an hour to get fully set up for the strategy to get a high round gameplay, which would end up taking another like six or seven hours when I can just play a map that takes like 10 minutes to get set up on and then I'm good for the rest of the game. So that's something you got to keep in mind. And all of these maps on Zombie Chronicles are very simple. I, I guess the the most complex map would be Origins, and that's really where, you know, it's it's funny, Origins, that's kind of where the complexity started, really. That's where you actually had to start doing a lot of stuff to be able to get to a strategy. Um, that's the first map that I've played that you have to do the Easter egg to get into a really good strategy spot. You know, you don't have to do the Easter egg to get into a strategy spot. You know, there's many strategies on all of these maps, and if you don't know, on my channel already, I've started making strategies per each map, and and there's going to be multiple. So if you like that, leave a thumbs up on this video. Let me know down below what map you'd like to see a strategy on next. Um, as you can see, we're doing Ascension right now. This is, uh, you know, round 50 gameplay. There's 50 somewhere. I think it's like 49, 50 to 51. So it's fun. These maps are really fun. I love Ascension. I really like all of the maps. Um, I've, I've had fun on, on most of the maps, you know, I, I really, really do like, uh, Knock There and Toten. Um, that's probably my, uh, that's probably my favorite map from, from the, the pack, you know, just because it's so simple. All you do is spawn in and, and you get to the box. That's it. You spawn and get to the box and it's so much fun. I've had so much fun on these map packs. Really, I've had so much fun playing multiplayer, you know, bringing this game back up and, and I've, I've had a blast getting back into zombies. So much so that I have a huge surprise for you guys. I don't want to ruin it right now because I'm still working on it. This has taken a lot of time. A lot of planning has went into this. Now I'm in the implementation stage. I'm... I'm air quotes again. I'm making it. it that's, that's a little bit of a hint. I'm making it right now. I don't have like an ETA of, of when it will be done per se, but... I do know you guys are going to really like it and appreciate it, and I think it's going to be something that not a lot of YouTubers have, you know, I think it's going to be a, a, another outlet for us, that's that's your only hint that I will give you, it's going to be an outlet for us, I'm pumped, I'm pumped, I, I, I'm just pumped working on the project right now, 
Um, I looked back at YouTube and it's been a while since my last video. Completely forgot about that. Um, that's how much I've been working on this project. It's literally taking all of my time. I want to make sure it's perfect before I release it. So who knows when it's going to be done. Um, right now, my best estimate would be about two or three weeks. So be looking forward to that. You know, you're going to have Zombie Chronicles if you're on the Xbox One before this is released. If you're on the PS4, please stay tuned. And and here's here's the biggest hint of them all. Just be practicing on zombies. That's all I can say. Practice zombies. Make it perfect. Watch those um, watch those strategy videos because I've got something really, really cool to show you guys. I'm I'm happy. What can I say? You know, I got my zombie maps back and I've got this project that I'm working on and YouTube is looking really, really good for the future right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Aaron and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Who doesn't want to see their name at the end of every video? Make sure to check out the Patreon link in the description if you'd like to be a part of the club.